Hold on, I can't find my microphone. And we got a fucking show to do, okay? We got a story time like no other. Are y'all ready? This is how we do it. Let loose real quick. Don't nothing else matter right now. It's Friday. It's Friday. Listen, look here, look here. This is how we do it. It's a Friday night. I feel alright. Here on the shake side. So I reach for my phone. Designated driver, take the keys to my truck. I'm fading. What do you say? So Shay, what did your pussy sit in your pants like? A fucking grapefruit is real fat and succulent. It vibrates a little bit when you touch it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How are y'all doing today? I'm going to take a more calm tone with this video. You know, people tell me all around the world that my voice is very soothing, naturally. And often, I guess there's a joke on me, people ask me to do my real voice, you know, all the time. And it's like, it's so I want to give a disclaimer before I get into this video. This video exists in no reason, form, or fraction to attack or ridicule or incite any type of negativity to any party. This is merely a story time. That I, as an independent artist, have the right it was done to, regardless. to express how I feel finally. Before I get into this video, I'm giving you black clap i don't care if it's your first time watching over here we love us some black we love the whole world but we love us this is top tier beauty in the ancient world now i don't know i don't know about y'all but i'm still fine it, it, it still works it's something about the magic they call it black we're gonna get over that it's friday Currently, it is April 7th. Oh, oh, I'm hitting the volume. Cock eye. It's April 7th, 2.02 a.m. Central Time. I'm up. What were you doing at 2.02 a.m. Central Time? I'm thinking about you right now. You never know. This is going to be one of the most passionate story times that I have done in my YouTube career. Because this story time is different from anything I have ever done up until this point. I am utterly 
disgusted and I feel disrespected and played with. Let's up the English. I feel manipulated. I felt disemboweled to my unalienable right to enjoy a process that I love. I experienced much vitriol in a connection with someone that I expected to see joy in exceeding abundance. I miscalculated the calculation in dealing with the worst videographer I have ever in my entire life been cursed to no exist. I also want to knock one more ball out the park before we continue. Can I do that? I think I was going to do it regardless of my channel. Mm -hmm. Anybody that wants to do business with We Love Shay, I love you. I ask, ask my sponsors. I love it. I, I love it. But I'm a business boss. I don't say that to brag. I notice when you, you know, when you do your damn thing. If there's going to come a time where you have to set some stuff straight because folks might not know you. And it's not to brag or boast on yourself at all, but there does need to be clarification. So I'm going to do that really quickly. If you want to do business with me, a business relationship is very different than a personal relationship. A personal relationship is more relaxed because I have love for you. I care for you as an individual beyond anybody else's comprehension. So if you don't give back to me, I'm not going to think that you hate me. I'm going to believe that, hey, you're probably busy, but I know when you get back, you get back. It ain't, ain't no on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. A business relationship, when money is involved from two different parties that would not know each other in life other than to do some business, there has to be some uh, uh, appurtenance to your response to me. There has to be some valid uh, uh, reasoning as to why you can't communicate if you can't, because if you don't got valid reasoning, it makes no more sense to me. You know, well, what is the reason? It has to be very dire because to choose to be lax on communications when doing business means to be laxed on your success. That's not how I operate. When I talk business, I mean it. When I talk business, I'm really talking it. So when I show loyalty, respect it because I'm still me. When I was in elementary school, I went to Margaret Elementary School. Google it, private school, because I was kind of in the public schools. They thought I was gonna do better there, crazy. They had signs all through the schools in the front office because I was up there a lot in Miss in Miss Ziegler's office, she was the principal. Miss Ziegler, tall New York woman, bow her head. Miss Ziegler, uh, she made it clear. Excuses don't exist on the stairway to success. They don't. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. You don't have excuses when you want to be successful. I don't. So please, if we are engaged in business, understand that I respect your business. That's why I'm going to be on my P's and Q's with communicating with you. I shouldn't scratch my head. And go two, three, four, five, eight. when we talking business. Whose time are you playing with? Who you think you're talking? You know, so we're just going to be very polite and appreciative of everyone that we have thus far. But moving forward, if you want to do business with me, please do not reach out through my Instagram DM. I have a team that responds to people. I pay people. I got folks on payroll that I don't post. Okay? So when, when you come to me... I'm going to send it to them. They, that There's a business email for a reason. It's weloveshayhouse at gmail.com. You want to work? I have my first solo music video dropping, and it's going to be my first song releasing that actually has codes encrypted in the song that can be tracked by Billboard. So, if you want to get your spot in line for the hottest girl on Billboard very soon, hey, I'm here. Weloveshayhouse at gmail.com. I know this is a really long intro, but I don't care. This is an important video, so shut up. This story time exists, and it shouldn't. My first solo music video in my music career that is very young, and I, 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 I'm so excited, drops on this YouTube channel. April 14th. If you love me, I need you to have everybody that you know that know me that don't know me. It's so many of us in here who you talking to to be present. The reason this video is so personal to me because I'm learning as I take music more seriously finally. Y'all, I like taking time to live my own life, so I don't always want to think about work. But, 2023. <laughs> I take, I'm learning that when I make a song or when I put myself into a music project or something like that, like, I really get very serious about it. You know, I can be very cavalier about a lot of shit because I don't give a fuck about a lot of stuff. But I don't know why. And can someone in the comments help me? We are growing together, y'all. We've been together for a while, so I'm here honest and transparent in this video. Why do I get so worked up over something like a song? Like, if someone's not respecting 
the fact that I really value it, you know? So I'm gonna try not to cry in this video and I'm not gonna try to make it very, very, very long, but I will have screenshots, voice recordings, just to show y'all. I, I really want help. Someone may call me crazy and I don't want that, no. I'm not, I'm very passionate and I do what I do for the people that love me. I do what I do for the supporters that check in on me every single day and DM me and say, Shay, are you okay? I thought about you. You haven't posted, but I don't care. Just making sure you're okay. Like, people just caring enough to say that to you. I really appreciate that. I only get soft over here on my channel because this is the safe space on the internet, okay? It's been yours and it is mine. So let me talk. So I have never cared if someone else takes what I do seriously. I've always taken business relationships serious. And if you don't respect that, and then I remember what it's actually for, it's just 10 times worse on you. So well, let's get into the story time. Back in February, on February 24th or 5th, I was supposed to be secretly flying to Atlanta to record this music video for y'all. Um, and in my mind, I was gonna have it out maybe by March 15th. Yeah, cause that's how much I planned ahead. So, I was looking for videographers. Um, at first, I didn't really care who. I was reaching out to production companies, like actually off of Safari. I was actually on, on Instagram looking like Atlanta videographers, like, you know, top quality. Cause I can tell like what I'm like. And I don't judge nobody based off of followers and nothing like that. You can find some of the most dopest people who just don't have the platform that they really deserve. And I don't overlook people like that. So I give everybody a shot. Wow, Shay, wow. So in one or a 48 hour span, I may have reached out to like 14 different companies, people like, hey, let's make a shot. This was all way before the 24th. Atlanta videographer, I'm gonna give him a name, Dummy. That, that's just the first thing I could think of. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to... Like I said, this this is a story time on my personal experience. I am entitled to my mind. Okay, so this dummy texted me back. My dumb ass texted him back. Hey, boo. I look, you know, he had his rates and stuff set up. It made sense. It, I, I seen everything I needed. I wanted, whoa. Hey, boo, I want to do business with you. Um, I want to... I wanted to... They moving, honey, just for me. Watch out. He was very easy to talk to and very easy to communicate with um, when he hadn't received my money yet. Y'all know I'm real. Oh, yeah, you know, I could. Yeah, you know. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got that. Oh, yeah, they're all. Gotcha. You know, like, just very, like, gung-ho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, girl, I'm like, okay, hey, this is really easy. And you know what? I don't even care how much he costs because I didn't even go into this with... A budget. I went into this saying, I'm going to get something, I'm going to respect somebody, and I'm not going to ever reach out to somebody and try to negotiate them down. No, we're going to start with what you asked, because I respect you as a boss. I'm done for thinking like that, right? 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 Yeah, no, I want to treat somebody like a boss, right? Okay, whatever. So. He's available for the dates and woo 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 woo. He needs the deposit. I just told him, tell me how much the fuck it is. I sent the deposit because I wanted to lock it in. Because once I take money out of my pocket and put it into the world, now it's go time. Like, there is a countdown now. Like, it's official, no going back. So, yeah, once I sent that deposit, I'm like, okay, you did. Boom. After he gets the deposit, then we, um,. He tells me the date that I want to do it, he wants to come an hour or two hours earlier than what I scheduled because he has something to do. Now, he doesn't know. The set that we have, we have it at a certain time. I booked you so that I would have been able to be there to get acquainted before you showed up. The two hours prior that you won't. I'm just not walking in it up. No, that's too much on me. That's too much on me. I'm not gonna try to rest like that. No, I pre I'm preparing. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Write that down, put it in your notes. Pause the video. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this this year. No, 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 no. I said what I said. You can't do that. Matter of fact, get my money back. I told him right there. I, that's how quick I'm able to give up on you. If you are not willing to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you're not willing to work with me, that's how fast I'm willing to give up on you. Cause I gotta make this work. 
can I get my deposit back? Just as soon as he said that, I just felt like, I'm just gonna deal with something like it. Y'all say, you know, just like one of us. No, 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 it's fine, I can make it work, I can make it work, you know what I'm saying, I can be there, yeah, 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 we good, we good, we good. Ah, okay. Let me go to our message thread. Hold on, I just got a text message in the middle of the night from the CEO of Vigo. Um, we, they experienced some issues on the North American continent and the app was off of the App Store. Hi, currently I am running a Big O campaign to bring people that do not have Big O on their phone or device or know people that don't. So real quickly in the middle of this video, I want to let you know that they're going to work on that right now. We're going to get that back up. And as soon as they get that back up, I'm about to get the next video. Um, I, I want y'all to really take a look at that link in my Instagram bio. My Instagram is I do love Shay, I D O L U V C H E. Please do not play with me now. This is serious. Um, that link right there. If you're watching right now and you just love you still me, I actually do go live. Instagram has snatched both my main account and backup live, so those may be going for four to five months. Knowing how terrible Instagram is, it is a sinking ship, and I hate that app. So big old, I will be doing most and TikTok. I'll start using that, but the big old link to download it. Only by the time this video go up, it's back to working and stuff. But click that link. I'm gonna leave the link in this description box below too. Do not ignore this link. It's so easy. It helps me out tremendously. Like this is as sincere as I can be. My YouTube channel, y'all actually listen to me. So I really do appreciate y'all more than a lot of other platforms. It won't hurt you and it takes no time, but the more people you send that link to, and if you don't have big old on your phone, and please don't try to just delete the one on your phone now and right there. They're gonna track that girl. We need we need new IPs, girl, so figure that out. But help me out, more downloads, okay? That would help me as many as possible. Like if just a fifth of the people that watch this video actually do it, I'll do whatever YouTube video y'all request. Whatever one I see with the most likes in the comments. I'm gonna let y'all know the end of the goddamn campaign be done cause, cause y'all be lying. I can track it too. I can track it too, so don't be lying. But for real, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Whatever, I don't care what it is. That's how serious. So, yeah, Instagram, check that. I'm gonna shadow me in and do whatever, but I don't care. Go do that for real. Fuck with it. Ooh, mess with me. I cut my neck. My daddy died. He never taught me how to shave, so I cut my neck. But that's the truth. Um, back to the story. Okay, so wow, we don't have many messages. February 24th, dummy texted me, hey. Told him where to meet up at. This was the day of the shoot. He texted me at 11 a.m. The shoot was at 1. He was on the way at 11.23. His ETA was 1.10. Okay, so you already gonna be late. Cool, so I'ma just run and go pick up some food. I actually catered this private event for the people that I really, really loved. I went and got like almost 100 wings of American Daily because you know I love wings and stuff like that. And remember the wings, how much I love wings. But yeah, you know, I just said I'll go pick that up because you're going to already be a little late. So the shoot is over. He texts me February 24th, 4.55 p.m. I forgot my other lens there. Will you be there for a while? Oh, yeah. You came and recorded. Whoa. The shoot, I had no complaints with him. I can't be fake. He was so easy to work with. You know what I'm saying? He seemed like he understood the creative process I was trying to go. I actually have a message with this single. I'm sick and tired of y'all making mindless songs for mindless folks. I got an educated support system out there that actually can value genuinely good music. I'm actually finna start making music more seriously. You better get ready. This song, I want to reiterate, I have not purchased the necessary codes up until this point because I did not even know that I needed that to have my songs tracked by Billboard. It never meant y'all never support it. It meant I didn't know. I'm independent. This is the process. This is the first song that Billboard can track who, how many people are buying it. This is how serious I need y'all to rally and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to help your boy out because I'm independent and I do this all on my own for you. And it's enough of us to make the world shake. <laughs> so this is a big deal. Even, y'all remember the music uh, uh, um, video I did about my braids and how I feel about that? Yeah, this was all leading up to that. And then I still had an issue with the music video. Wow. Wow. All of that and still, okay, whatever. The music video is going, everything is going good. We get it done. He leaves. He left his lens. I found it. We got it back to him. Boom, boom, boom. So February 25th, uh, he really wanted it. He said he going to get back to Atlanta late that night or something. I think he was still trying to get his lens. So boom. At 4.43 p.m. February 25th, I said, you know what? Let me just pay you the rest. Like, 
I really want this to be snoop snoop you know like uh, i want you i want to let you know you're not dealing with somebody that's gonna beg and plead and hope like can you please discount me no let me just give you what you want right that was february 25th a day after the shoot and you got your lens back that you left march 1st i hadn't heard from you at all so i texted you dummy at 12 27 any update i should be sending you some pictures today i said ah all right just pictures. We did a photo shoot. I have pictures coming. March 2nd, 11.41 a.m. I said, good morning. Well, I'm in Texas, so afternoon to you. That was March 2nd. No reply. No. Like, no call, no face. No. 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 Monday, March 20th. Did you get the footage? That was all of our message thread. Like, that's how long it was, the whole process. Your phone. When I do business, I don't want to have to reach you through your Instagram. I got your phone. It's on your hip. Everybody, tell the truth right now. You got your phone on you all the time. You're not going nowhere without that. Shut up. I don't want to hear no lie. I don't want to hear no lie. That's a lie. Not today. Who? Who free Willie walking around without a phone on them but somebody over 80? And if that, we doing business, right? And not a page went full. So now I'm expecting. I'm not hoping nothing. I'm expecting a rough draft. March 20th was the boiling point. That was the last message sent to him. Now let's go to Instagram. <laughs> His account's still burned. So in not being able to get any responses from your number, I'm big on communication. So I'm very passionate about this. You know, when he left after the shoot, it's like, okay, I'm gonna definitely give you like, you know, some time to do it, but like how much time? Can I get a rough draft? Can I get like what the first look, like on look back? Do you need notes? I spend enough hours to give him second by second thumbs up thumbs down thumbs sideways could be this is my this is like magnificent i love this he has more of this like every second of this video i took it took me hours to do that i promise you i bet you he didn't use it because let's go through these dms february 23rd on instagram he dm me and said ready for tomorrow i said yes sir he dm me february at three february 24th at 3 12 p.m so this is before you texted my phone, I think, keep up with the time. And you said, oh, you could send the rest. Matter of fact, I didn't even think, don't look at me give myself too much. Here go the proof. He said, you could send me the rest. Oh, he demanded the rest of that. I'm, 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 I'm going back in time. He demanded that. I, okay, cool. But because I felt like I was going to give it to you regardless, I'm going to try to hold out. Here. I got you. Check your phone for the uh, message, too. I sent you um, uh, in regards to that end on your phone. Yeah, I was already telling him check your phone because you don't text back. This is in March. This is March 2nd. I send voice notes to everybody, so I didn't do this with this in mind. If you know me personally, I will send you a voice note or get on the phone with you. I don't like typing because when I type, I just say what's on my mind. And then I think it could look just very different than how I'm trying to portray what I'm trying to say. So, like, tone is a good assister, assistant for me. Stay with me. So, this is at March 2nd. 4 p.m. I'm gonna voice my hair because I guess I updated my phone. I can't send through messages. You were very easy to reach before I paid you. Um, now you're hard to reach. I'm pretty sure the customary response to someone that's texting you six days later is, oh, I've been busy. Oh, I've been, get, you know, that's probably usually what, but for real, I'm only on you now because you told me I would happen by the end of a certain day. And after that day was over, just as a businessman, you didn't come back and tell me, hey, it ain't even gonna be the day. Like, I got caught up with something. I, I respect stuff like that. I can't respect and page you in full. Um, you gonna have it at the end of the day and I'm hitting them and then we have it through the next day and I still ain't hearing from you. Like, that ain't never gonna look like good business. Ain't no words to fix that. It's just a change of action. So, yeah, like, what's going on? That's weird. And now I gotta call it out and put it up in both of our faces to see how weird that look. You know, I just want my content, that's it. And you said at the end of the day, so what's up? This is in regards to just my pictures, not even the first draft of the music video. This is just for the pictures he took. My stand. Sometimes when when I get to the point where I feel like I have to finally chase, cause like when I'm doing business, it's serious. Like for real, I paid you. At least let me feel like as a client or a customer that invested in your fucking business, that I'm somewhat of an importance to you. Like ignore your cousin for a day or two. Ignore your sister for a day or two. They know you work. Maybe you was busy. Maybe you had maybe you had to take some time. I know, I know. 
maybe you had to take some time to actually work on what I paid you to do. So yeah, I might send multiple messages because I'll just, you to let my mind run. If you handle business right, I don't gotta assume nothing. So this is the following message that went out probably seconds later. Is I'm a client, so I just be thinking people don't wanna be leaving their clients in the dark about stuff they pay for, you know? Even if it ain't no Russian, Russian, snap, snap. Communication with your paying client. Like, that's respect. You ain't even showing me no respect. It ain't even no all my fault. I'm not, it's like, as of now, this much time has gone between without any communication. You have definitely disrespected me, I feel like. It is just because I, I did not cross your mind. I have not crossed your mind at all to say, ah, let me just shoot a text update. It's like, that's disrespectful. So, I just don't know if you usually disrespect your clients, but I didn't do nothing rude to you. Paid you what you want. It can be almost how many days? I'm, I'm on six. And it's only because you told me it would only take five. Tell myself it'll be, I had your pictures back in the day. I was just in one of the pictures. I didn't even rush in the video yet. I still ain't got the pictures yet. Like, what's up, man? He let me think a little much longer. He hadn't responded or seen it. It gave me a lot of time to think. Because I'm just reading these messages that you can tell the rest. Very informed about your money. So that's how I know you in it to just be about your dollars. But the disrespect, yeah. I'm just thinking hard because you didn't give me so much time to think. Like, any argue with you. I ain't even play with you no couple days. Like, I think that. So, like, like, what? Like, like, what for real? You ain't never baby. And you deal with somebody who can. Ain't this what you do? You do videos for people you make? You a videographer. So, like, I'd have paid you to make a video. You, I, I thought if this is your calling, like, people that you work with is people you communicate with a lot. I don't think it's your calling. I really think you just want money for holding the camera, which is fine because that's what a videographer is. But don't make it look like that because that's exactly what you're making it look like. For real. And then I thought one more time, then I said, I, no, I'm just leaving him alone because he's going to think I'm crazy. And you was real easy to talk to about your lens that you left too. It ain't hard for you to get to a phone. I just thought about that again. When you, when you, when you noticed your lens was lost, and I, I had to go back and look for your lens. Like, you real community, like, when you, when, like, come on. You ain't hard to reach. <laughs> You're not. So, like, what's going on? Why would you get the final payment from somebody? Like, that's when you really laxed. Like, woo, I could really just disappear and just, like, not say shit to this mother because I got all the money. Ha, I'm done now. Like, that's how you, that's how it's looking to me. That's how it's looking to me. That's, that's, that's flawed as hell. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna hope I hear from you before midnight because, yeah, I'm gonna hope I hear from you before midnight because that's really disrespectful. Then it ain't too much I'm gonna take, period. Like, I promise you. So he replied, I feel like you are going OD about it. It's definitely not about money. Wow, you don't think that's my calling? I'm not by my phone 24 7. Instant disrespect right there. Let me tell you, see, this is how quick you need to learn me. Instant disrespect. We talking business. Forget everything else you just said. You said I'm not by my phone 24 seven. What business are you running? What 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 are you standing for? When 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 you are in the middle of a project, you need to have your phone on you. That's how you see you already messing up. I'm finding out. I should have got my deposit back. So I instantly responded. Good. I have your response. If you could please work on the pictures. And if I could have them back by today, I would love to see those. Thank you so much. I'm not hard to work with. Like, I'm really not. I like to stay on point, on focus, to get what we got done, and just get it on. He said, like, I feel like you're being very rude. I'm not hard to reach. Wow, I had to send all of those messages and wait. Next message. No, I guess I'm guessing with you, it may be another nine days for the music video, but the pictures at least, I wanna have out to promote the song coming. So if I could like get like the just the most stellar pictures that you got from all the pictures you took, I could just have those up on the internet to have it running like so they can be expecting the song to come. I responded to his very rude comment. Before this moment, your last message was yesterday at 12 p.m. saying I'd have pics by the end of the day. I've blown you up, got you now, so now I'm not mad. They are coming today. You will get a full refund if they don't. I said, do you plan to have them to me today? Like, if you plan on having them to me today, then I won't have to worry about a refund. You bring up a refund to me like, uh, uh, a refund, re, 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 re. We done already, sh re, re. I done already record. We did a whole re, cause you can't. 
Okay, so before you think I'm being OD, I, I guess I do have to remind you when you told me I would have them by the end of the day yesterday. So I didn't bother you at all because however much time that was, I didn't care. After yesterday passed and now it's today, after hitting you up a lot, now I'm hearing that I'm gonna get them today. I just hope that I get them today for real this time. It's not me having an attitude. I don't think you like being called out on something maybe weird to me because we're strangers. So I don't want a refund. I want my pictures. I don't. I, I brought up the money because after I paid you was when you got hard to reach to me. Now you're not hard to reach no more. So I hope this little interaction was just enough seriousness. Like this client is annoying. I'll never work with them again. Let me just give them their stuff that's some good quality. And if that's how it is, and I would like that, and we could just stop like that. But I, I do want everything. Am I not communication award 100? Like, he let me think. I had to send him proof. Uh, yeah, I was not mad. But just once I read that, like, I just stick to everybody's word. I should be sending a piece of that. I just be sticking to people's words. So that's where this came from. I didn't just pull it out the air to just, you know, annoy you. So look at it like that. Just read these messages back and be like, damn. I did say I should be sitting there with I ain't said shit. Like, that's kind of just what I'm noticing. Uh, he said I'm never hard to reach. Okay, okay. In business, yeah. In business, communication is key. That's all. I appreciate you, though. Then he said pics coming in 15 minutes. It was really just the pictures. That was all. Thank you. I, I like this type of, I like this communication. I'm getting updates now. Oh, that done took the power out. Hell. Okay, so boom, he sends the pictures March 2nd. Yay, finally got my pictures March 2nd. March the 5th, 11 a.m. Any more updates? I've heard nothing from the phone or the DM. We still in the DMs here. The message thread was never long. He said on video. I want to ask for updates every four days, hoping that it jogs your memory. Like, when I ask for any updates, I guess the real translation is when will you be done? But instead of saying that, I just say any updates because I feel like you're nowhere near done. But yes, it will probably be on the video because we shot a music video. Or I guess the trailer. It's just to get a notification from you first without me saying any updates or those like that would actually make me feel like you care. But just something. If you was to just tell me something, like something. Something. I'm trying to be not annoying. I know videographers hate when they're rushed, rushed, rushed. So when I got the pictures Thursday, I purposely didn't bother you Thursday. Purposely didn't text you Friday. Purposely didn't text you Saturday. Cause I just be feeling like that's like a lot of time given. Like don't bother the man. And yeah, so that's probably just an update. Just at, at, at anything at this point. Just like uh, any information from you regarding anything we did last Friday, I would actually be happy to know. Anything, <laughs> a update coming from you. I I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I do want to say since we have filmed, there has been zero information from. I'm not saying this, you know, and just look at what the situation is because I'm very serious. I don't hate you. I don't care for you as a person. You're a videographer. I'm sure you wouldn't care about me as a person because I'm a client. That's how I see us. So we got to see each other in our respective fields, right? You haven't given me any information since the shoot, like on your own to just say, okay, so here's the breakdown, here's what you, there has been zero. So that's something I've noticed, like there has literally been zero. It's been zero push from you to want to tell me anything about my video. That it, it's like, it kind of did to me because I chose to do a video, it wasn't just, you know? So like, I just want you to just hear, hear me out when I say that. I'm used to being updated. I, you haven't. It's just like I have to chase you to get anything. And then you asking me on what? So then I get a paragraph from him. March 5th, he is tired of me. I'm going to be 100% real. I'm going to give you a great product. I'm used to people letting me work. And the multiple messages are irritating me. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But I'm not going to let the quality of the video be 
bleep because I'm upset. I'm going to give you my best work. Just person to person, the plenty of messages are rubbing me the wrong way. You are not like any clients I've worked with. And I have people that come back and back multiple times. He put multiple in all caps like I care. You are the first client that has spoken negative and that just how I feel, that's just how I feel from my end. Just getting stuff off my chest just like you do. All in for, all in all for the communication aspect, because you big on communication, you should have a 90% edit by Friday now. This is March 5th, whatever day that was, which is probably far. Um, and you give me some critiques for you to get the final edits. Once you give the critiques, it will only take me a day to fix it and you will have the final product. Again, person to person, please don't send voice messages back to back like that. And me speaking to you as a client, you will have a great video and I'm not holding my personal reaction over your product because people will see it and be like, sheesh, talk to you Friday. I had to send him a message. Only thing after that, thank you for the final update. Um, seeing me next Friday is, I, my mouth dropped when I read that. I didn't know, but okay. Um, you haven't worked with me before. I personally wouldn't care who you worked with, but if they don't care about getting updates on something they paid for in full before they even saw a picture, a trailer, a video, if they don't text you, and try to get your attention because they probably not planning on doing something big with this video or they just local artists who make songs for the neighborhood then that's probably why you don't do it i'm an artist i chart i charted number 23 in the world and i uh, on, in january on itunes my whole ep charted number four in the world on the rap genre itunes i charted number two on general on the general uh chart underneath megan i only didn't get number one because of body i'm an artist so like yeah i'm on you you probably know the artist. That's probably what you're telling me, but okay, I'll be. Because I just didn't like his song. He said the laugh emojis. He said, I work with a lot of artists. I got you. Mm -hmm. The artist is different. It ain't even that I'm trying to convince you. I'm the biggest. I'm an artist. So like sign, unsign, been in it 20 years. I'm an artist. So just have a mindset of when you're dealing with an artist, they care about their craft. You thinking, you thinking different. I don't, I'm not even thinking like that. You just didn't work with this artist, duh, it's Shay. It's your first time working with Shay, so you're gonna get to know every client, you know? So yeah, you deal with different kinds of artists. I'm definitely probably a different kind. I appreciate you because you're helping me grow and to understand communication is key. What you talking about? I'm helping you to grow. I did not reach out to you to help you grow. I reached out to you to do business. I reached out to you because I felt like you knew what you was getting yourself into and I wouldn't have to chase you for the stuff that I paid you for. D dummy, 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 dummy. What do you mean? I'm not trying to help you grow. Oh, you're teaching me stuff. I'm not trying to help. No, you're supposed to already do this when I thought you did. I'm calm. Text me March 10th. March 10th is the next message. Good morning, it's Friday. I will have it for you at the later part of tonight. That was Friday, that was March 10th at 8.06 a.m. March 10th at 9.22, I said, Jesus, okay, after two weeks, do I even have a trailer ready now? And then I sent a voice note. All uh, right, later part, of, I'm, I'm not a person that has my emotions. I try to, I try to just send these little messages. Thank you for the communication though, for real. Later part of tonight, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Oh my fuck. Okay, I just had to get that out. I didn't say nothing, but that's just my initial reaction when I read that. Thank you for letting me know that. I will wait until the end of the day today. Trailer comes from the video being fully put together, so he's just letting me know, yeah, I ain't even got your trailer. I said that. So I get the video. March 10th, the first draft, which is usually never the final one because you're going to critique that one. But it's, it's the reference, okay? It's, it's a good reference. I watched my video and analyzed it. You know, I, I, I take my time on my shit. This probably would have been done quicker had I would have known I wouldn't have waited this long to even get this much back. You know, I have a timeline in my head, so silly me. He asked me for the breakdown. This is when this is when I take a long time to reply to him for the first time, because I'm actually huh. so I sent him back the um, you know the 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 remarks on the video because the first time I watched it, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like I just felt like he I didn't like it. And everyone else that I played it for loved it, but they didn't love it. They understood the certain things I didn't like about it, which were reasonable. So, like, you know, I just knew that I was going to love the video because the quality, the the message, if you care about music, like with a little hint, a little, uh, 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 what's it called when the music video has, like, a plot? Or, what's that called? Um, 
the concept. It's a concept music video, guys. Yes, yeah, my first time ever. I'm like, I'm like, that. So, like, you know, I really took my time. So, yeah, I can't play a lot of these messages because this is when I was really going into detail. I sent a lot of voice notes. I know I, that was annoying, but he should have been ready for that because, what? I texted him March 17th. Did you find any of the notes helpful, though? He said yes. March 19th is when I said, what's the expect time for this version, though? Please don't be another week for my sanity. He said it takes a minute to upload to Dropbox. What did I say? That whole paragraph you responded after I said that. And you explained it like you're going to continue editing within that last line, but I can send you it, though. Like, what, what, what the hell? March 17th, I said, did you get the second email? I didn't know how to unlock it. Oh, I sent him my notes that like from my notes. But I guess my notes were private, so I had to unlock it. He said, yes, I received it. I received it this morning. It is very in-depth. I said, is that bad? He said, kind of. I gave you in-depth notes on a review of a reference. You pointed out that they are in-depth, and that's bad. That's all I read, but he kept typing and said, you know where, oh shit, he's describing it. But then I just go off, I send him, I didn't go off, I didn't curse, but like, I'm just explaining the scenes, which I can't say right now, because you know, the video dropped on the 14th, so like, blah, blah, blah. but. Do you wanna do it or not? Do you wanna do it or not? Am I bothering you? At this point, am I stressing you out? Do you wanna do it or not? I just read what you said. It's in depth, is that kind of bad? Yeah, how the heck? It, do you wanna do it or not? I gave you the most, I sat for an hour and a half. That video was three minutes. It took me an hour and a half to actually watch that. I didn't just rush through nothing. I'm saying, this is my art. Do you want to do it or not? I'm, I'm begging you at this point. I'm trying to convince you to do some shit I paid you for. Do you want to do it or not? Like, come on. At this point, I can, pro I can probably just arrange. Could you send me all your raw footage at this point? Can I find a way to get that? I will edit it myself. If you can promise me that you can send me the scenes. Or find a way to do that. I can't. I will edit it myself. I will. I do not have that problem. That's the compromise I'm willing to make with you at this point. I'm begging this nigga to do this shit. Do you want to do it or not, nigga? Say no. He said, LOL. <laughs> You don't have to yell. I never said I wouldn't do it. I said it was very in-depth, yes. You also asked me to put stuff where I see it best fit. You literally told me in person the scenes, what you wanted and where. You want me to put da 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 so da 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 That would be in the first couple of seconds. Like He was actually, he switched up by saying like, so you want me to put this where do do do? You want me to put, like he, out of nowhere, just turned and started jumping into that. So I'm like, and then he said, and then you want da da do. Basically, like, going along acting like he's taking some of the notes. Now, I'm like, okay, I didn't even get a chance to respond because he double texted me and said, I can send you everything, though. Like, basically saying, do you, you just confirm that you were going to, like, take heed to my notes and then in the same breath say, but I'll send you all your footage. You could have made that decision before you put both of them together. Either you're going to take heed or send me my footage. Don't try to dangle. Why are you dangling two back in front of my face now? I know sending me everything, I will edit this video exactly how I want it. Taking a chance with you at this point, I'm playing with my own mind, but it seems as though you're getting it. Yes, I would like to see him. Good. So then, yeah, so we started going into that. I'm like, okay, bet, we're good. We're getting an understanding. You know what? You're going to do it. Woo -woo. I gave him those notes and he said, okay. I text him March 17th at 11.04 p.m. Did you find any notes helpful though? He said, yes. March 19th is when I said, what's the expect time for another version? Please don't be another week for my sanity. He said, March 19th at 8.21 a.m. I was going to send the footage to you. Like, you... I do what I do for y'all. I don't care about nobody else. Why is you playing with me? You never told me that you was going to... You said okay to it. Like, what? I didn't think I know what the hell you gonna say. I was gonna send it for When in these messages did you convey that shit? And when did we get on the phone and you say that shit? And you just pull that shit out your head. Now I was gonna. When, how the hell do I know this shit? Like, how the fuck do you expect me to know? Like, you playing with me, nigga. Like, what the fuck are you doing? What the hell are you pulling? Say me now, please. Taking your time responding to me. I can leave you the fuck alone in life. Okay, send them now. Like, how? Can I get every single one? Like, all around. How? There is going to be a link. Like, what do I need to give you now so we can stop fucking talking in life? Like, what the fuck this nigga's take? <laughs> oh, my God. 
I only laughed now because I wasn't laughing then. Now I was very passionate. He said it takes a minute to upload. I said do it now, please. He said it's been uploading. Please. It should be done in three more hours. I put on a timer, y'all, and sent it to him. I gave him three hours and 10 minutes. He sent me some footage and I was still missing scenes. As an editor, I cannot see the full thing unless I have all my scenes. And because I was in the video, I kind of know what scenes were missing. So you couldn't just throw me just... To continue talking to me? Like, do you want to? Is this what's going on? Like, I have to think differently. Do you want to talk to me long? No, I'm just going to assume you have some common sense that that's not all the scenes. This being your only message is... It, it's you. It, it's, it's, it's you. It's definitely you. Because now I'm, of course, time has passed and I'm asking another obvious, stupid fucking question. Where are the rest of them? Where are the rest of them? Now you have the slowest. You said you started sending or saving something yesterday morning and it is, I don't want to hear that. It's been weeks. So whatever you can do, I don't want to check and wait on nothing. I want all of my stuff. That's it. I, I'm tired of waiting on you. What can, what can you not get? You, this is how you want people to treat you. I'm not that human. You want people to just, uh, okay, no, nigga. Like, what do you mean? You, you said you started this shit yesterday morning. Like, how slow is your shit? How slow is your Wi-Fi? What the hell are you saving? The video is three minutes. I, the reason why I want my scenes is because I failed to understand you completely as a human. So we won't understand each other. What you can do is just get a quickening spirit in, in getting the scenes over. I don't want to know the process. I don't want to. I want to just be sent all my scenes at once. So you're telling me now that that's even more hours from now, right? That's what you said. Just confirm that with me. I don't. I don't understand you. I don't want to understand you. I just want my scenes. That's after he said you're not. He's after I sent that verse voice note. He said you're not understanding. And then I said that. And then I double sent a voice note. Frankly, I don't have to understand you. I paid you in full and I am in, in the negative about 7,000 points of approval for you as a credible videographer. Like, and I paid in full. And I, I'm talking about three weeks in, three weeks in, and I'm getting sent my scenes. Like, it was all for no, the worst human ever, like you. So I don't, have, you don't, I don't have to understand you at this point. You need to provide all the scenes. Just tell me I'm going to take a long time to send them. That's how, that's how you need to talk to me. Hey, I'm going to be a, long, a few, a lot more hours to get you your stuff. Hey, I'm going to be this many more hours. I'm going to be this slow getting it to you. That's all you need to talk to me like from now on. Then he said they are coming. I continue to wait. I might have went live. I got an audio call from him. This is the first time, the first time ever thus far knowing him that he called me. On Instagram. We talked on the phone for a few seconds. I didn't record nothing. It went in my heart. But he, it, the dummy went a little like this. You need to get your people. You need to get your people. No, 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 no. I have been dealing with you. And when you go to the internet, people don't know no backstories. On the, I have been dealing with you. I've been patient. I know what you're, I know what's not going to have you. Slack too long. It's that mob of mine. They tend to shake it. Y'all had them scared. I don't know what y'all did. I just told y'all to tell him to text me back, get my scenes. I don't want to work with you no more. And he called me telling me what I wasn't going to do. Literally texted me and said, what you're not going to do is flood my page. I said, how much time I stay on this link? I'm trying to stay on top of it. I didn't hear from him. I said, let me know, typed out that you're refusing to send me the rest of my raw footage. He said, hold on, shooting some photos real fast. I said, I didn't expect you not to be busy, kind of you. He said, I be working. Hands up emoji, like you think we friends. No praising emojis. I, you're texting a client. You're not texting your fucking friend. The work that you do is the work that you're supposed to be doing for me. We're not friends. I be working, you know, I be busy. Nigga, I just, duh. <laughs> he said, gotcha. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, can y'all get the gist? Is it wild? I'm just going. <clears throat> I'm not going to fast forward to the fact that even after that, I still waited to receive all of my scenes. This video would drag out if I continue to tell you how long I waited, but the song drops April 14th now, and that is entirely a month off schedule. Fast forward, so after I received my scenes, I was sent a screenshot. The trailer's out now, so I don't care. I was sent a screenshot. 
from one of my supporters. Now this video, no one has seen it. Video I've heard, I said, I haven't seen it. I've shown people on the phone. I haven't sent it, so you're the only one with it. I get sent this, a spam account that have created itself just to follow my supporters. Said this is the video he claimed he don't have, right? I did not. That one broke my heart because every argument that I made with him was reasonable. What made no sense is he threatening to put out my work before me. And I've spent this much time waiting on you. Turns out it might have been one of his friends or he had descended to his friends. You know, I got really personal in those notes and stuff. You know, I felt like he gave my tummy a lot of extra time that I didn't want it to have in the video. And so, yeah, I kind of said something about that. And one of his random friends was in my Instagram comments, like, talking about some, oh, well, you mad because your stomach is not like, why is this random ass girl talking about some stuff I typed in my notes to my videographer? Like... It just felt like, okay, you really, really mad and you you going to try to sabotage that way. Like, you didn't release any other audio because you know lawsuits are fast. But you want to put out an image. I posted, if y'all all paid attention to my Instagram, I posted the pajamas. I didn't want y'all to see. Like, it's just little stuff like that that I feel like if you take that decision from me, it's like, wow. Wow. That's how you really feel. And I really cared about this. This is for my supporters. I don't drop nothing hoping somebody like me. He'll, he'll, I hope they... He'll, Oh, I really hope somebody... No, I don't care. I know people are going to listen to my stuff. I literally know there's someone that's going to press play every time I drop a song. This is what I'm making a music video for. Sorry, some people don't have that. And y'all, some people... No, I really care about the people that support me and spend real money on me. For real. Y'all don't have to, ever. And then it boils down to this. Like, I'm dealing with this with you. Makes me want to cry. But nonetheless, I got my sins. And... I never thought that I would say this, but my first solo music video, I ended up having to edit myself because of the incompetence of a videographer and deadlines being met and me feeling like I let y'all down because I told y'all that it was going to be ready in March. And I'm really this year being very serious with talking to y'all and telling y'all stuff. And it really pissed me off because I, I couldn't do nothing. Like, that shit is really hard to deal with. So I really hope y'all understand and forgive me for that and getting y'all hopes up but it'd be a lot of stuff that go on behind the scenes and I don't ever want to give y'all bad news and stuff like this because I just be hoping people respect a boss like I will never get this passionate or sentimental about too much else but this stuff because I care so <sighs> April 14th it's not just a video it's not just a video to some people but a lot of yelling and screaming in my room and walking around, pulling my hair out, just feeling like, uh, when I don't have my scenes as an editor, you know, I edit my stuff. Uh, because I edit my stuff, like, when I have all my scenes, I can see the entire video. Like, when, to put, to put you in my mind, when he was holding my scenes for me and not sending them, like, it was just black in my mind because I can't see like, unless I have them. When I see, when I have scenes in my hand for some, apparently, I've never edited a music video either. Like, I don't even do that for real. Something like this. So it was my first time doing this for real, and I didn't even want to have to do that. But, you know, when I just see scenes, I just go back to my YouTube. No, I'm very proud of YouTube. I'm going cut on YouTube, so I, I have some knowledge of editing. I have to see all the scenes to see the finished product. I was just seeing a black screen in my head the whole time he taking his time, you busy. And it's just like, these people, I care about my people. Like, I'm doing this for them, man. Like, what are you doing? Like, why is you, like, I can't see nothing. I can't do nothing. So... I put a lot of energy into this off camera and I'm not one of the influencers that care about people feeling bad for me. That's some other people, but like this had to get said before this got done, put out because I want people to know I'm not just hoping somebody like me. I do what I do and I go through a lot for the people that I love. I really do. I'm willing to book on everybody behind y'all. These people play with me. They playing with y'all because I do what I do for y'all and ain't nobody going to play with me because ain't nobody going to play with y'all. Let me know in the comments if you feel like I'm crazy and I'm out of bounds. Um, this, until, up until now, I haven't spoken to him since. Um, he is the dummy, the dummy, the dummy. He, he, I want to say to you personally, if this video does get to you or any of your friends or loved ones, I don't care. You disappointed me above all else because I feel like my personal life and personal mental strain would have been better had I not known you existed and had I not ever messaged you. That's where you've gotten me to. I feel like knowing you was a strain in my life because I, I was really worked up over something I shouldn't have been worked up over. So I highly regret knowing you as a human. 
and you just let me get so invested in you and so deep into like duh, 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 to where like I put too much time in for you to just like what? And not once have I asked for a refund. I paid you to just hold the camera at this point. I care about my craft if nobody else does. And I hope the ones that genuinely love me beyond anything else. It's a lot of y'all out there. I see y'all repost me all the time. I'm always on the For You page. Somebody gonna post me on Facebook. Somebody gonna put me on Twitter. I see y'all repost me all the time. And, I, and that type of love, you can't buy. You earn. They'll crucify everybody on the internet. But that y'all be showing love to me. And I, that means more to me than anything. Um, yeah. So if you've never bought a Shea song before, this song, more than anything, and I can't stress it enough, who knows? I don't have an expectation. Y'all always blow me out the water. Billboard can see it. And it drops April 14 with the assistance of a music video that I want you to watch. Beginning to end every second because every second matters to me. I'm putting out art. I'm not just putting out something that I hope goes up. This is not a TikTok song. This is not something like, this is really something I care about. So. I want my supporters to enjoy it. And anyone else on the outside, I want to say before it ever drops, I never cared about how you felt about it. I only care about those who care about me or know me or, or, or just have an open mind to a genuine music listener that actually listens to music that has, I don't know, a concept to it. So, yeah, I take that stuff. Can y'all hear my voice? I don't know. I'm not trying to crack. I'm trying to stay good, but like, I really care about this type of stuff. So, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, you can do when it's fire, baby. I don't want nobody to feel bad for me. Y'all gonna love it. <laughs> that about wraps up this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your cousin about me. You know you live for all of this. Um, I want to say to all of my music supporters that actually listen to my songs, and even if you don't, you're gonna, you're gonna play this one. If you're still listening to this video at this point, just imagine if you really did buy the song for Shay, just just for the one time monumental things could potentially happen and you don't know how much it'll mean to me because i feel like i'm getting smarter as an artist independently yes regardless of that just you being here caring to check in and tap in and watch this video it's always the payment and you 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 better keep paying me that all in decline yeah <laughs> remember to love yourself and be yourself unapologetically remember to carry yourself like royalty i got my crown out today this a crown Black folks hair is a natural crown, honey. You carry yourself like royalty, because when you carry yourself like royalty, these folks gonna have to respect you. Until next time, can you handle a bitch like me? <laughs> okay. So many of us in here, who are you talking to?